Um, hi, uh, good morning. Uh, I'm here to present, uh, uh, quickly present uh, our uh, Mozambican OSM community. How do I? Um, so I'll just quickly uh, say who we are, Mapiando Mobairo, that's our name with the hashtag, and main ongoing projects, uh, how, we, how we go about our mapping and some of the main challenges. We are pretty much uh, trying to become a social movement in Mozambique that is using community mapping to change the uh, local uh, urban, urban settlements, the informal urban settlements, um, using, using mapping as a means of, of requalification and social well-being. Um, our, our, the name of the community is hashtag mapeando mobile, which means uh, mapping my neighborhood. Um, um, neighborhood stands, uh, the, the part for the neighborhood stands is, is, is stands for, for these kinds of environments. We, we try to focus our work on the, on the, low, uh, on the, on the outskirts of the main, uh, of the city center, uh, usually associated with uh, low income uh, residents and poverty and crime and other, other negative, um, negative uh, associations often made uh, about these places, and I'm sure they, they're, they're accurate. Um, but they're also quite positive, um, positive um, characteristics in these neighborhoods. And you can see uh, ladies caring for the, or elderly caring for the kids uh, in, in, the, in the street, and a lot of community uh, involvement and, and, and togetherness and solidarity. Um, imp improvised uh, public space, even in low uh, in, in low infrastructure conditions, um, and and spaces where also uh, the elderly can can uh, uh, sit around and, and play. So it's a uh, it's often not associated with those kinds of envi environments are often not associated with uh, slums, but they, they are also important. So we try to map everything, the the good and the bad. Uh, the good and the bad, uh, because often these these kinds of environments aren't aren't on any maps. As you can see on the left, uh, on the left the, the the map of the government, and on the right a more recent map we we try to produce with uh, uh, our work. Uh, we collected uh, a lot of buildings, streets, um, drainage ways, uh, trees, and much more. Uh, we say my, my neighborhood because we try to not come from the outside of these neighborhoods and map. Instead, we try to train the local people in, in mapping uh, so that they can uh, hopefully one day become autonomous and continue mapping um, their, their neighborhood. And that's where the hashtag comes in because uh, the possibility given to us by OpenStreetMap and those very low income uh, resources Help uh, is what makes possible that these mapping activities can go to, to a slum neighborhood. Um, quickly, just uh, some ongoing projects. Um, we, are, we got a micro grant from HOT last year, and uh, so now this work is continuing on the initiative of the, own, uh, of the, the people themselves. They were doing a questionnaire or a survey about houses, and they asked us to put this survey on, uh, on the map as well, uh, out, the, out, out of their own initiative which is very inspiring for us after the microgrant ended to see the project still continue um, even without any uh, external funding. And we also are, are ongoing, uh, a bit slowly, but we are ongoing with uh, putting uh, the, open, uh, the public transport on the map. Um, our public transport, in, despite on the left being, a, it looks like a metro, a co intricate metro European city uh, uh, public transport, it's only the little uh, buses, often overcrowded, but we are, we are putting that on OpenStreetMap. I'll jump a couple. Um, then we are doing, um, with, uh, we also received a micro grant from uh, HOT this year, so we plan to expand the work we did in one of the neighborhoods to map the drainage um, facilities in a bigger area. And this is very much inspired by the work being done in Tanzania by uh, Ramani Uria. Um, quickly, just uh, our, um, uh, our um, workflow, what we do, we start with an opening community forum in which we inform and invite the residents to participate. We invite everybody, uh, or at least as much people as we can reach, and the selection process is after informing everyone. Uh, we train everybody in OpenStreetMap and JOSEM. Uh, um, uh, as you can see, sometimes the devices are a bit of a challenge, but we try to overcome that. 
And then we collect field data again, very inspired by the Ramani Urea methodology, combining residents of the neighborhoods and uh, st university students. And this is the kind of environments we try to also put in the map, the little drainage that takes water out of the uh, house of the people uh, to the main drainage. The main drainage is always already on the map, but nobody, uh, nobody has an availability of data of how the the drainage, uh, all the water goes from the houses outside out to the main drain. So here you can see a student and a resident combining and discussing how, how to map this little uh, infrastructure. Uh, I'll jump that. Uh, we are also inspired by Romani Urea trying to uh, implement low, low, uh, low, fine, low technology, uh, I mean cheap uh, uh, drones to make the mapping more accurate. Um, we, we don't have a drone yet, but that's our plan to acquire one. And then we do the digitization on uh, JOSM, and we present the results at the end. Um, yeah, there are some main challenges. I'm running out of time, um, so I'll jump a couple. Maybe say that one big challenge is the, is the use of the data. We, are, we feel we are mapping quite a lot in Mozambique, and nobody is still is, has started using it, no institutions. Uh, we knocked some doors, but it isn't really getting much traction so far. So we're putting a lot of data on OpenStreetMap about those neighborhoods, but then uh, nobody is, is using OpenStreetMap uh, to, to use this data to make decisions. And another small but maybe funnier challenge is the, the uh, Western gear, geared system of tagging. Um, people always ask us about so many churches in those neighborhoods. Um, I understand that, church, that, that the church is a prominent uh, uh, part of the European city, the big cathedral, while in, in, in Maputo, in Mozambique, the church can be in the, in the backyard of someone's house, and then you tag that as a church, and it's, it renders on the map as, as something really prominent, while it's, it's very small. Uh, uh, again, that happens with the little streets that I showed before. These kinds of spaces, you can't really call that a square, like you would in, in, in front of Duomo, but the tag is, is probably the, exactly the same. So sometimes it's funny to see how, how this can be a highway. Uh, we can tag this a highway, a footway, and then um, it doesn't really render a lot on the map, but it's a very important part of these uh, urban settlements, like the little streets taking people to their homes. So there's a bit of a Western orientation of the tagging that sometimes is hard to translate to to a, a slum environment. Thank you. So do we have one question? Okay. Hopla. Yeah, just a question. It's not entirely relevant to the, the mapping itself, but I noticed uh, you also met the drainage system, and I'm from the Netherlands, and uh, of course we also have a lot of drainage systems because we're <laughs> below sea level. Uh, but I actually noticed uh, that it looked uh, pretty well, because often when you see these kind of pictures of drainage systems in these slums, then it's entirely filled with litter and garbage, and actually the drainage is probably not functional anymore. And how is this situation in, in, these, in these slums? Because it actually looked pretty uh, nice. Um, is, is the situation, is, is that a real problem also in, in these slums? Yeah, it definitely is a problem in most neighborhoods. We, luckily, the neighborhood we, we, got, we worked on with the micro grant, they have a very active local NGO that does a lot of work with, uh, with clean, cleaning the drainage and cleaning waste. So the neighborhood is re usually quite uh, clean, and it's the same NGO that asked us to map this work that they're already doing. Uh, while in the other neighborhoods, without this local uh, active NGO, it, the situation is a bit more similar, I think, to what we know from other places, to always blockage and a lot of waste. Yep. Yeah, okay, yeah, interesting.